In this After Effects tutorial, we're going to break up with our text. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. We got a great tutorial today because it's very easy to do and it's a quick tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. So here we are in a tutorial composition and I already have our text and a background in here. And of course I have a nice little image and this is something you do not need to do, but this is a little bonus extra for this tutorial. I'm gonna go ahead and put this image on top of our text. So make sure the image is beneath your text layer and go to track mat. If you don't see track mat, toggle switches and modes until you see it and set the track mat to alpha mat. And you see the image takes place of the text and I think that's really cool, but let's go ahead and duplicate our text. So make sure the text layer is selected, go up to edit, duplicate, and put this layer underneath the image, turn it back on, and if you go to the image layer and hit T on your keyboard, you can lower the opacity, blend in there kind of a bit nicer. So that's looking good. And let's go ahead and select all three of our layers and go up to layer pre-compose. And we can call this one text placeholder. And click OK. So let's go ahead and begin breaking this text up. And it's super easy to do. Make sure the uh, you know composition here is selected and go ahead and duplicate that layer. And we'll rename this top layer to uh, pixel poly. And that's good. So let's go up to effect simulation. And if you couldn't have guessed it, it's the pixel poly effect. Go ahead and add that right into there. And now we gotta start tweaking some of these settings. And if we scrub through here in time, you'll see that the text kind of breaks up and our original text is there. And set the force down to one, the gravity down to zero. And basically that's gonna prevent the text from falling straight down. And we come here, you know, turn off, you know, set the one X to zero X, and then maybe just increase the spinning to like four or five. So, we kind of have like this subtle motion and it's kind of you know blowing up from the middle, which is all cool and all. So that's looking good. And then we come here to the direction randomness and maybe set this down to 7% and maybe the speed randomness up to like 50%. So that'll kind of variate some of the direction and speed a bit. So it's not completely you know consistent. And for my taste, I kind of already want to be in the broken up animation once we come to this scene. So I'm gonna go to the start time and bring this down to like negative two. So once the scene starts, we kind of already have this broken up text and I think that looks great. So now we don't want to break up the entire text. If that's what you wanted to do, then here you go, the tutorial's over. But let's go ahead and you know only break up individual pieces of our text. So let's make sure the pixel poly layer is selected, grab the pen tool, and we'll come here and we'll just create a mask, uh, just kind of random of like places of the text that we want to break off. So obviously I want to break off the two uh, pieces of the K here. So we'll hit M on our keyboard to bring up the mask. We'll go ahead and copy it and paste it into our bottom layer down here, and we'll turn this back on. And then we'll hit M again on our keyboard to bring up the mask one for our placeholder and set it to subtract. Boom, we just get small pieces of our text breaking off and that looks really awesome. So of course now we can come through here to our top layer and just start breaking off, you know, kind of other small pieces of our text. And of course all we have to do is copy the mask, paste it, and then set it to subtract. So boom, it's very easy to do. And obviously there's no keyframes. You don't have to worry about so much of the control of what's happening. So really awesome. So go ahead and I'll break this up a little bit more and I'll be right back. All right, so now I have broken up my text and if you need to control anything, of course, play with the pixel poly settings, like the direction randomness, as you can see, it'll kind of go in different directions. Of course, you can increase the force if you want this to go a little bit faster. So of course the force controls the overall speed of everything, but I'm gonna keep it at one because I like that subtleness. And if you want to increase the spinning by a little bit to get more of that spinning animation in there, go ahead and increase that as well. But I like where it's at. And if you want to fall down or fly up, go ahead and just increase the gravity in either direction. So you can have it fly up, but I personally don't like the gravity. So that's pretty awesome. And then of course, if you want to go ahead and take this a step further and you know, kind of really make this thing pop out, what we can do is pre-compose both of our comps here, go up to layer, pre-compose, and we can call this one uh, broken up text or something. Click OK. And then we go ahead and duplicate this layer, rename the bottom layer to shadow. And then we go up to effect perspective, uh, where's perspective, drop shadow. And uh, go ahead and set this to shadow only. And then we'll go ahead and toggle switch the modes and set this to a 3D layer. Hit R on our keyboard for rotation. And we'll set the X rotation to like negative like 80 or so. And then we'll come here and kind of maybe hit S on our keyboard for scale, break the chain link here and then scale up the Y position. And then we can come here and, you know, kind of create a nice shadow. Kind of want to match that up as best as we can. We might change the X scale by a little bit. 
So we'll come back up to the drop shadow effect. And we set the opacity down to like 25%. And you know now we have this nice shadow in here. Maybe we can also increase the softness by a touch. And you know I think that's a very nice subtle so uh, shadow for this. And you know I think it looks really awesome. So uh, of course make sure to turn on motion blur. Go into the pixel poly effect and turn the motion blur on for that. And then go back to your main comp and turn on motion blur at the top. So if you were following along with this tutorial, this is what you should have gotten. Very nice and subtle. Of course, you can increase the force to make it go faster. Or if you put this into like Premiere, you can always just do like a fast motion effect to it. So always cool to do. So that's it for our tutorial. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more After Effects videos just like this. And please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And as always, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a good day.